video, we focus on digestive enzymes. Now what is an enzyme? An enzyme is a biological catalyst and it is able to speed up a chemical reaction rate of chemical reactions and the enzyme they are mainly proteins so they are proteins and they are able to speed up chemical reactions so there's a catalyst okay that's enzyme now Let's look at the enzyme involved in the digestive system. The first one is this thing here. This is the salivary gland. Salivary gland. And this secrete amylase. So amylase is secreted from the salivary gland. And this is able to digest starch and break down the starch into glucose. So that's starch, that's glucose. Now glucose is a smaller molecule, it's able to enter the semi-permeable cell memory and into the cell to provide the cell with energy. So if we say starch molecule looking like that, now glucose will be looking like that. Okay, so that is called a chemical digestion. Digestion. Now in the mouth, it also has got physical digestion as well. Physical digestion. That is achieved by teeth. The teeth break down the food uh, from large size into smaller size. So that's that. So this is... Okay, and then the food is entering this food pipe. This food pipe is called osphagus. Osphagus. And for osphagus is simply just to push the food down to the stomach. So it generates a wave like. A wave like contraction and this there is a special term for it is called peristalsis yeah means it's just to push the food down to the stomach so now we enter the stomach now so that stomach Now inside this stomach, the wall of this inner uh, stomach, it release a very acidic chemical, chemicals, it's called hydrochloric acid. Now hydrochloric acid is to kill bacteria, harmful microorganism so it kills bacteria and uh, many other 
harmful organisms. So it has got a very low pH. So pH is very low. It's almost like one uh, to kill the bacteria. In the meantime, it releases a uh, enzyme. That enzyme is called pepsin. Not pepsin. That is only digest proteins into amino acid. So it digests large ones into smaller ones. So it's like amino acids. There are 20 of those ones. So if I draw like this, so it's different amino acid. So when they join together, and uh, it looks like that. And then what happens is that when you you can become amino acid, different shapes, yeah, different shapes. So that's the smaller molecule amino acid. So it's broken down by Pepsi. Okay. And then this stomach also is able to um, muscle start to mix up the food as well so that's um, called peristosis so also peristosis so that is again that's physical physical uh, digestion and this one here uh, using pepsin that's chemical chemical digestion okay so that's in the stomach okay so the most of the food are mixed really really well inside the stomach then it's going to go into small intestines to be digested fully but um, because this environment is very very acidic so the food enters before it enters it need to be neutralized so this liver here this is liver liver is able to secret bile and stored in this gallbladder so the bile is released by the liver stored in this gallbladder and uh, what does bile do the bile is able to neutralize neutralize acid because this environment is very acidic the bile itself is a alkaline alkaline juice so which means its um, pH is greater than 7 so it can neutralize acid and also bile is able to emulsify emulsify fats what does that mean so the fats could be a very big large lump so it can be chopped into smaller lumps and that will be easier for the enzyme to work on it so the large ones into the smaller and that when it get to smaller it have a large surface area that will help the enzyme to work on the fats better okay that's two jobs for bile now this pancreas this is pancreas this is pancreas That that a generate three very important enzyme. Now first enzyme is carbo carbohydrates. Now this works specifically works on carbohydrates. So they are very, very specific. Carbohydrates, 
means a starch rich material. Now that works on that. That's the enzyme works on that. Second one is protease. Now protease it works on protein. Okay, it works on protein. And also generate the third enzyme called lipase. Now lipase works on lipid. Okay, so that's that. So they are very, very specific. So um, the three enzymes are given. Okay, so lipids. So that's PI. Okay, that's lipids. Now, in Chinese term, this is lipids, and that's lipids. Lipids. Um, it just to take away that that uh, this one here is sorry this one here is maybe I get rid of this right again lipids so that's that this is enzyme that's also enzyme um, one of the example will be amylase amylase will be a typical amylase will be a typical carbohydrates right so those three enzymes will be mixed in the, with this small intestines and then the small intestines will complete the digestion now because it has got a lot of enzyme got a lot of enzyme and that will uh, digest food and also there's three type of enzyme three types of enzyme all in here with this one one two three three types of enzyme in there and to digest food so that's chemical chemical digestion also it has got a lot of lots of finger like villi and that is all in one cell thick the wall wall is all in one cell thick means means it is very very thin very thin okay so means it's very thin and it has got very rich network of capillaries so that's the blood vessel outside so what we'll happens what happens is that you have this inside you have all this extension let's say villi is all inside have this finger like extension so you have that got like that like in finger like extension and each of these finger like extension outside is surrounded by blood vessels so when the food food let's say the food is going through and then it will diffuse into the blood vessels very easily because it's all in one cell thick the wall is all in one cell thick so it goes into the blood vessel that's called absorption so that is called absorption and then very last last uh, stage 
of digestion is going through these large intestines. So that's large, large intestines. Now, large intestine is just uh, ready, the, the waste is ready to go. But it has a job, it has a job is to reabsorb reabsorb some extra water if you have excessive water will be reabsorbed and then it goes out of the body so this is the whole picture of how the food is digested by enzyme inside the human body and i hope this help you to understand better Thank you. My name is June. I am a qualified teacher of science in England and I am a published author. My book is available on Jingdong and it makes good gifts. If you would like to support my work, please subscribe and hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day and I see you again soon.